Keep going, my brave heroes. You are almost there. Uh-huh. And just where are we going exactly? You just brought us to some random-ass cave. Yeah, lady, some answers would be really nice. All in due time, Barak. For now, you must trust me. For your very souls are at stake. Well, we've heard that line before. Seems like we're always risking our bodies and souls for some grand purpose outside our realm of understanding. The unseen forces at work that seek to undermine your efforts are far worse than you could possibly imagine. Well, we know just how bad Dr. Monty can be, but I'm sure he's not the only one who wants to put a stop to us. After all, there's still the mystery of this picture of my handsome face we found on the Titanic. Someone knows about us, and I doubt they're friendly. Yeah, knowing our luck, that's probably true. Hey, guys, look up ahead. Yo, sexy lady voice. Why bring us to this cave just to make us go through another portal? This is not like the others you have encountered. This place holds much significance. The veil between worlds is at its weakest here. However, your physical selves are not capable of entry. Okay, and just what exactly does that mean? Where does that portal lead? And how are we expected to go through it? It is answers you want, correct? Through the portal, your minds will be transported back through the ages. The knowledge you so desperately seek can be found there. Why can't you just give us the answers? You seem like you know a lot about us, but we don't know Jack about you. Time to start talking if you expect us to just do as you say. Unfortunately, I cannot answer the question as to who I am just yet. Just know I seek to save this universe and all of them. Our goals are indeed aligned. Now to enter the portal, you must steal your minds. This place has special properties that with the right mental fortitude, you may exit the physical realm to head back in time. Do you have an explanation that's not vague as fuck? You must figure out the path ahead yourselves. Prove to me that you are capable of this great responsibility the universe has bestowed upon you. Well, gee, thanks a lot. How the hell are we supposed to go through this portal without using our physical bodies? Maybe we're supposed to off ourselves and turn into ghosts or something, like afterlife mode and mob of the dead? That's a horrible idea, Joe. I'm not too keen on dying just to have it not work. Hmm, maybe that could work. What, dying? No, not that. You see, I have something in my possession that might be able to help. It's said to give you the feeling of leaving your body. Well, that sounds just like what we need. Where have you been hiding such a thing, Barack? Something this good sounds really powerful. You're damn right. This is probably more powerful than the summoning key. It's a little something called dimethyltryptamine. Dimethyl what now? That sounds scary. Oh, hell no. Obama, you fucking junkie. That's one of your drugs, isn't it? I mean, it is all natural. Joe Rogan gave me some of this DMT, and honestly, I've been a bit too scared to try it myself, but from what he's told me, it really is an out-of-body experience. I don't care. I'm straight-edge Barry. You know that. I've never even touched a drop of alcohol my whole life or even a cigarette. And now you're asking me to try DMT? That could be laced with God knows what! I hate to admit it, but Donald is right, Barack. That shit sounds dangerous. Oh, come on. Lots of people try it. I really think this will work, guys. Shit. Let me just read the cronorium. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Totally says right here. The presidential zomboys experience an amazing DMT trip and continue their journey. Oh, yeah? Let me see that book, then. Well, the book changes, depending on the reader, probably says something different for you. Just believe me, Donald, I'm totally right. Well, I trust you, Barry, even if I'm a little scared. The only thing I'm scared of is Joe frying what little brain cells he has left. So if that happens, you're responsible, Barry. Shit, we're really doing this, aren't we? <sighs> Light that shit up, I guess.
feel so good. This is weird as hell. I'm seeing so many strange colors and shit. This is fucking awesome. I don't know if I'll ever go back to weed after this. I'm gonna have to thank Joe Rogan next time I see him. Hold on, why are we like see-through? As a politician, I am not used to being this transparent. Ah! Joe, why are you screaming like you saw a ghost? Look, on the ground. That's, that's me. Shit, the rest of our bodies are here too. Obama, I told you this fucking DMT was laced, probably with fentanyl that came across Biden's open border. Now we're dead. You're not dead, you nimrods. Larry, good to see you, old friend. But what the hell are you doing here? Well, I could ask you the same thing. Why the fuck are you four smoking that nasty stuff in some cave? Have you finally lost it? Wait a second, how did you know we were doing DMT? Hold on a second. Larry, is that really you? What do you mean, Barack? It sure looks like him to me. Well, I've always heard that people who trip on DMT are visited by these uh, machine elves or some shit. I don't know why, but everyone always seems to hallucinate elves when on DMT. Is that true, Larry? Are you just a figment of our drug-fueled imaginations? You got me, Barack. Yep, I'm just part of your DMT trip. Whether that's a good or bad thing, you can decide. But until you sober up, I'll be here to stay. Who knows? Maybe I can be of some assistance. In any case, you are now in such a higher state of existence that your souls have left your bodies, meaning the way ahead is now clear. Well, even if you aren't real, I did miss you, little guy. I'm just shocked Obama's plan worked. Of course it worked. Now, I, I think we should step through the portal. Not sure where it'll take us, but there's only one way to find out. All right, well, here goes nothing. Sir, I'm sorry to interrupt. This had better be important. Well, yes, sir. You see, the prophecy has come to light. You speak the truth? They have finally arrived, just as it has been foretold by our Lord and Savior. It appears so, sir. They have been captured and are awaiting your orders. Shall we dispose of them now? <laughs> you know, even before I founded the Nine, you were always my favorite. Surely even you can comprehend the magnitude of this moment. I think we should put our new guests to the test. They should suffer after all. Especially the imposter among them. Are you suggesting what I think you are, sir? Indeed. If they have truly come for my sentinel artifact, then what better way to dispose of them than by forcing them to partake in its trial? It'll provide the members of our movement some much-needed entertainment as well. Who knows? Maybe it'll even get a reaction from your stone-cold face. Unlikely, sir. I live to see our goals fulfilled, nothing else. In any case, I'll have the guards prepare the contenders. Very well. Leave my sight then, Clarence. I have my own preparations to take care of. At long last, my destiny will be fulfilled. I cannot wait to alert our Lord about this. We just had to teleport right in the middle of enemy territory, didn't we? I'm not surprised, but those goons that threw us in here, they sure were dressed funny, weren't they? Joe, I think we have bigger things to worry about than what kind of clothes they were wearing. Besides, I have a good idea about where we are. When those guards walked us over here, I got a pretty good look at the outside. It seems like a gladiatorial arena. You see where I'm getting at here? I don't. Oh, of course. This must be nine. That would explain our change in attire as well. I must admit, we do look pretty badass. Even you, Larry. What is that supposed to mean? I tell you, if I weren't a hallucination, I'd smack you upside the head, Barack. So is this all a hallucination as well? I mean, we entered this place with our spiritual selves, but now we're all solid again. Well done on breaking through, presidential zomboys. The artifact you seek is close by. But unfortunately, it is well guarded. The ones who control this place are your true enemies. Be warned, Presidents. Should you fall here, your bodies back in the cave will also perish. 
Well, thanks for the heads up. That means no goofing off, guys. I assume we'll have to follow the steps of the nine Easter egg, but uh, uh, who actually remembers how to do that shit? Not me. Literally, the only step I remember from that is actually having to pick up actual fecal matter. And I promise I will not be doing that. Hold on, you guys hear that? Sounds like a crowd of people out there. What is this, a football game or something? Yeah, definitely not. It's more than likely an arena for us to fight zombies in for the entertainment of the masses. Hmm, but I guess on the bright side, there's no Taylor Swift here. Okay, Kanye, I swear, you Republicans need to leave that girl alone. Don't start with the petty squabbles, you two. The gate is rising. Well, boys, go give these freaks who kidnapped us a performance they'll never forget. Time to go give the crowd what they want, I guess. Are they cheering for us because they want us to survive? or die. The contenders have entered the arena. Can they appease the gods, or will they suffer the same fate as those who came before them? Uh, I'm gonna bet on the latter, Joe. Well, I shouldn't be too surprised we're here. I mean, Nine is one of the best zombies maps, but it also has some of the most terrifying enemies. I thought this map was called XI. No, Joe, you dummy, it's pronounced Nine. Oi, what do you mean, zombies map? All right, you don't know everything we've been through. I promise it's not worth explaining it all to a hallucination. Shit, watch out, guys. They're turning up the heat out here. At least we have this armor to protect us a bit. I'm kind of jealous of Georgie, though. Seems like he got the bulkiest of the bunch. Yeah, also the heaviest. This shit is no fun to run around in, and it's hot as hell in this desert. I mean, I'd rather be you than me right now. I got stuck with this lame-ass chainmail. I guess you could say you're the very first black knight, Barack. I know you meant that as a racial dig, Donald, but honestly, that's a pretty badass title. First black president and first black knight. I'll take it. Anyways, I think we should get to exploring the rest of this place. We won't make any progress just sitting around joking. What is this place anyways? And what did that guy mean by appeasing the gods? Well, we're not 100% sure what the purpose of this place is, but each building in the arena is dedicated to gods of different mythologies. The sentinel artifact that we seek has begun its trial, and we must prove ourselves to the gods to beat it. That sounds simple enough. I know I did this Easter egg on the zombies map version back in the day. Now it's just a matter of remembering what to do. Well, I know your memory is pretty dog shit, Joe. Thankfully, I remember we have to activate these gongs first. A contender calls the champion of Danu. Oh no, there's a scary gladiator zombie. I think I'm gonna wet myself. Hold on, Joe, we can't have you walking around in soiled armor. Too late. But hey, on the bright side, we killed him. The champion of Danu is slain. Did I just see you pick up that gladiator zombie's head? Disgusting. You know, I love you, Larry, but for a hallucination, you sure do yap a lot. Besides, this head is needed to open the pack-a-punch. Remember in Santa's workshop, the machine he had in his vault that upgraded our weapons? Donald, I'm a hallucination. My memories are all artificial, so if you want me to remember something, then I will. But speaking of needing head, think you can smoke a little more of that DMT to conjure up a lady elf for me? Gross, Lair. Hallucination or not, I'm not sure if I want you on my shoulder anymore. Guys, I found a part. Looks like it's for the brazen bull shield. Look at you, Joe, making yourself useful. Next on the agenda should be summoning the champion of Raw. All right, I'll ring the gong then. A contender calls the champions of Raw. Shit, there's two of them now. Joe, don't forget we literally took out a giant sea monster not too long ago. We can take out these gladiator fucks. The champions of Raw are slain. Ah, thank you for proving my point, Mr. Whoever the fuck is in charge. Well done, guys. Now on to the next. We'll have to head down below to make our way to the other towers. It's gonna to be close quarters down here, so be on guard. Man, this room kinda of looks like my bedroom in Trump Tower. Think I could get away with stealing some gold coins? Who do you think you are, Sonic the Hedgehog? Besides, why do you need them if you're supposedly a billionaire anyways? Goddamn Joe, you fucking dementia patient. Sonic collects rings, not coins. That's something everybody knows. Now, I don't blame you for not knowing that, Joe. Sonic sucks. 
Maybe this is a hot take among gamers, but Sonic is a franchise that should have died a long time ago. And if any other series had a string of bad games in a row like it did, they'd be forgotten about. Well, not saying I agree with you 100%, George, but I wouldn't mind getting rid of the cringe half of the Sonic community like Joe's son, the furry. What the actual fuck am I even listening to right now? I'm with you there, buddy. This conversation is making me lose brain cells faster than people who listen to Kamala Harris speak. Now that I can agree with you on Barack. Did you all see that clip of her yapping about a coconut tree or something? You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> Now, Donald, that's not fair. You've said some pretty dumb things yourself. And let's not forget George and his famous Bushisms. Hey, now don't drag me into this. I didn't do anything. Okay, like usual, I guess I gotta come in and keep the peace. Let's head up to the Odin Temple so we can defeat its champions. Keep an eye out for shield pieces, too. Well, not sure what you know about keeping peace, Barack, when I'm the one who didn't start any new wars as president, but okay. Look, the champion of Odin, kill him while he's Fortnite emoting up there. The champion of Odin is slain! Speaking of Fortnite, I sure wish I was back home playing that instead of being here. Elves aren't used to this dry heat, you see. Bro, you're literally not even real. Hey guys, I found this little purple coin. Is this some sort of unsolved Easter egg? Joe, you Nimrod, this isn't a video game. This is real life. There are no Easter eggs. I completely forgot we had these specialist weapons. Don't know why we didn't use these when we were up against the Leviathan. A contender calls the champions of Zeus! Ah! Nice kitty, you don't want to eat me. I don't taste good. The champions of Zeus are slain! Phew. I definitely didn't want to end up as Tiger Chow. I bet that's not the last we'll see of them, though, so keep an eye and ear out. So what's next, gentlemen? We've got to bring these heads to the ritual room and place them on pikes, Guy Fox style. Oh, guys, I think I found another shield part. Good job, Joe. I found the last part earlier. Everyone, come grab a shield. Break their bones! Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. I think I hear more of those ravenous, undead big cats lurking around. Better kill those scary fuckers before they take a bite out of you. Don't tell me you're scared, Larry. You're damn right I am. I've heard horror stories where Santa went to deliver presents to kids in India, only to find the entire family devoured by a tiger. You haven't heard anything because you're just a figment of our imaginations. Oh, is that right, George? Well, imagine this, then. Ow! Did you just bite my neck? Hey, yo. I didn't know Larry was freaky like that. Look, the pack of punch is available now. This will give us a huge advantage. Sir, this is not good. They have defeated the champions of the gods. I am aware. But we knew they would be more skilled than the previous contenders. It is of little concern at the moment. The gods will bless us this day, as they have for centuries. There is no chance that these fools could earn their favor. Right. Well, I'm not exactly a believer in these gods myself, but I must admit, Things have been going according to plan lately. Of course, there were roadblocks along the way. And now those very roadblocks are here before us, destined to meet their ends. Still, isn't it a little weird seeing him down there? Not to me. After all, we all know about the existence of the multiverse. In the infinite Earths that exist, only ours is important. We should treat him no differently than anyone else who attempts to oppose us. Perhaps we should treat him worse, considering the setbacks he caused us with McConnell. McConnell was no huge loss. That old crow wasn't yielding sufficient results up there on the moon. We should keep our focus on global domination first and foremost. I suppose that makes sense. Once we conclude our business here, will we return to the 21st century? Patience, my friend. I know how much you must miss your wife and children. But remember, we are working towards making their lives and the rest of America's free of conflict. Yes, sir. Now let us get back to enjoying the show. Well, we defeated the champions of the different gods. Now what? 
Well, I know for a fact we have to get the wonder weapon out of the box at some point for the sake of our survival and for completing our quest. I think we're supposed to earn the favor of each of the gods. Well, how do you propose we do that? I know I can't be of much help, but I'll do whatever I can to make sure you boys live through this day. Nonsense, Larry. Real or not, just getting to hear you motivating us is a big help. Why, thank you, Mr. President. I must say, you chaps helped me too, motivating the real me to finally pursue my dream of becoming a dentist. Well, when you finally become a licensed dentist, Joe can be your first patient. I'm sure his old ass needs a new set of dentures. Okay, well, you can be his second patient then and George is third, considering you both are right behind me in age. I miss the days when our president wasn't an old ass man, AKA when I was in office. Well, Barack, old buddy, old pal, this old ass man is about to carry us through this trial. First step is to get a gladiator zombie to throw his ax and cut off a piece of wood from this pyre. Not sure what's so important about this wood in particular, but it's what we have to do. Now hold on. Why can't you just pick an ax up off the ground and cut a piece off yourselves? Wouldn't that make the most logical sense? Larry's got a point there. I don't see why we can't just apply real life logic to these Easter eggs. Well, too late for that. A gladiator has already arrived. We just gotta get him to aim his ax throw at the burning pyre. Hey, this looks like the piece of wood you guys were talking about. Man, I haven't had a nice hard piece of wood like this in my hand since my lifeguard days with Corn Pop. What a disgusting visual. Why did you have to say that out loud, Joe? Oh, just tell us what we have to do next, Donald. Well, honestly, that's about all I really remember, getting that wood and then picking up the poop as well. Joe, you're the chaos expert. You know what to do? Oh, so now you all want Uncle Joe's advice, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, I do remember most of this quest. The first couple steps are pretty much item collection. We need the wood, which we got already, a skull, and of course, the pile of dung. A skull, huh? Well, there ought to be plenty of those in a place like this. I mean, the walls of that Pack-a-Punch room were literally lined with thousands of them. Well, funny you mentioned that room, Larry, because that's where the skull we need can be found. But of course, this isn't just any old skull. It'll have a, a blue symbol carved into it. It'll be kind of like finding a needle in a haystack. Well, that sounds like it'll be a lot of fun just digging around through the remains of people, probably Biden voters since only dead people voted for him. Guys, just a heads up, those pesky catalyst zombies have started to appear. Oh, hey everyone, I got the wonder weapon. I sure am glad this creepy thing is chained down though. I wouldn't feel safe with this critter just being able to move freely. That's great news, Joe. I'm sure it'll come in handy. By the way, I've got a head start on looking for this skull, but I have a feeling this is gonna take ages to find. The death of Orion is pretty mid from what I remember. It is needed for one of the steps for our quest though. So I guess it's good that Joe got it. I'd rather have my Zweihander personally. Yo, I found the special skull. Good going, Barry. So what's next, Joe? Well, for one, we've got to melt the piece of wood we got here and also take the skull to this grinder and create some bone meal. Just be careful you don't walk into any of the traps around here, Joe, or else your skeleton looking ass will get turned to bone meal too. I found the skull grinder. Um, how do I use this thing? Hmm, I was under the impression you were used to using grinder Barack, given your secret lust for men. How the hell do you know about that? Uh, I mean, how dare you? I'm sorry you have to listen to this, Lair. I am learning more about you boys today than I'm comfortable with. Well, on the bright side, I grinded the skull. All it needed was a little electricity from the death of Orion. It's the same way Jill turns me on in the bedroom. A little shock can spice up a relationship, you know? Okay, I think I'm just gonna plug my ears for a bit until you guys stop with the out-of-pocket comments, which I really hope are just jokes. I don't blame you, man, but I wouldn't hold my breath if I were you. Anyways, I suppose next is to collect a pile of shit for some reason? Yeah, I vote Joe for that position. After all, he knows how to do this Easter egg. We wouldn't want to screw it up. I concur, plus I'm a bit of a germaphobe, so I definitely will not be touching that. Come on, man. Uh, fine, but you guys owe me big time. Now we gotta wait for that wood to burn to ash, and we bring the three items to this bowl in the Zeus Tower to turn it into fertilizer. This all sounds very complicated. If only Santa were here, he could just give you a bag of fertilizer from Home Depot or something. Well, things are never that simple for us, Larry. We are constantly being forced to do the most insane and random things imaginable to forward our mission. Still, I got the ash for us. 
now to head to the Zeus Tower. Okay, the shit is in the bowl, now what? We just wait for it to turn to fertilizer? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Real exciting stuff, I know. Well, don't get too bored, guys, because a fucking blight father is here. Let's see how it likes the taste of my scorpion gun. Look, it's just stuck floating in the air, all helpless like. Not so scary now, are you, big guy? Good shit taking that thing down, Joe. Anyways, looks like the fertilizer is ready, so go ahead and grab a handful. Some of this Easter egg is starting to come back to me now. I think we got to bring that to the lower Danu temple and offer it to her. All right, Danu, if you're listening, we brought you your fertilizer. I don't know what you want with this, but I hope it makes you happy. Whoa, who the hell turned out all the color? I'm not sure, but I don't like it. We have to destroy those pustules on the walls. They're corrupting this place. This is how we win Danu's favor. I don't know what's a bigger blight, that disgusting thing on the tree, or the Democratic Party. Definitely the MAGA movement, but hey, looks like we destroyed it. I'm sure that's not the only one. Let's head up a level. Barack was right. There's the next one. That thing is glowing brighter than Rudolph's weird tumor nose. Joe, keep us safe from the zombies with your wonder weapon while we destroy this thing. Don't worry, bro. I got your all's backs. All right, we got that one. Next floor is the top of the tree. It's got to be the last one. Here it is. In the name of Danu, let's purify her temple. Look how beautiful the night sky is. How is this even possible? Less yapping and more shooting. Yeah, what Larry said. Keep shooting. We've almost got it. Danu has been appeased. Hell yeah, let's fucking go, boys. One down, three to go. Hey, guys, maybe it's just me tripping. But I swear this obelisk wasn't here before. Yeah, I don't think so either. It looks like it came straight out of that one shitty extinction map, Awakening. Ooh. Don't even bring up that piss poor excuse for a co op mode ever again. So, what do we do next? I assume the next god whose favor we have to win is Ross. But considering I'm the rawest motherfucker here, this shouldn't be too hard. To earn the blessing of the sun god, you must first find the symbols. The bull will lead you to the path of enlightenment. The bull, huh? Well, back in my day, when I worked at a male strip club, I was known for being a bull, if you know what I mean. She must be talking about me. Uh, I'm pretty sure she meant the bull-shaped shields you guys have been carrying around on your backs. Oh. Right, well, uh, moving on from that then, I'm pretty sure we have to find four bull symbols around the arena and shoot them with our shields. Well, I'll happily help you guys look for them once I get this big, ugly blight daddy off me. Hey, I think I found one. I found one, too. Oh, fuck. It was booby-trapped. One of those gladiators was just waiting for me to let him out. Die, you motherfucker. I'm not scared anymore. I can defeat anything that comes my way. I'm proud of you, Joe. I know I pick on you a lot, but you've become very brave since the start of our journey. Well, I've got to be brave if I'm going to take you on in the election in November. You're a great friend, but an even greater opponent. Who's to say you two will even be on the ballots? I mean, you weren't home that long, and I doubt you two filed to appear on the ballots in the primaries. Trust me, Barry. My supporters are diehards. I'll win the primary even if they have to write my name in. Not sure if enough people love you enough to do the same, though, Joe. If I'm up against Kamala, though, it'll be an automatic W. I sure am glad I'm not a politician. That's got to get tiring, especially at your ages. Don't you all ever think about just living the rest of your short lives in peace? Well, even if they did, Larry, clearly the universe has other plans for us besides peace. True enough. You all are doing the world a huge solid, though, risking your necks for the entire multiverse every day. Sad part is, few people will ever know of your sacrifices. Yeah, it's a real shame, too, because I could cut some killer campaign ads if I could prove to the American people that I have literally been fighting on their behalves every day. Well, that's enough chit-chat. I found the last symbol. I think we should all return to the obelisk now. Ra has awakened. His eye falls upon the faithful. Look, the Ra Perk statue is shooting a beam at the obelisk, and there's some sort of symbol. I vaguely remember this step. I think each symbol represents a special zombie type, and we have to kill one of each corresponding zombie type in the order that the symbols appear in. This is gonna be hard considering we can't read them. I see you guys need some help. Don't worry, your old pal Larry is well versed in alchemical symbols. Really? 
Oh, hell yeah, that's why you're the GOAT. What are we waiting for, then? Let's start this shit. Solve the riddle and receive the Sun God's judgment. Looks like electric. Um, brawler. That one's poison. And finally, gladiator. Awesome. Thanks, Larry. Electric, brawler, poison, gladiator. Remember, we have to kill them in that order. Here's the electric catalyst. All right, he's dead. Brawler's dead. Poison is up next. We got the poison one. All right, taking out the gladiator. Ra has been appeased. We did it. Only two gods left. Thanks a lot for your help on that, Larry. For a drug-induced illusion, you're pretty helpful. Don't mention it. I'm always here to help my friends out. Damn it. They've completed another one of the gods' trials. I was a fool to underestimate them. I'm starting to worry now. What if they actually managed to complete the Sentinel Artifact's trial? We can't allow that to happen. If all else fails, we still have fury and wrath at our disposal. Ah, yes, our Lord's prized pets. But if the presidential Zomboys were to defeat them... Not another word, Clarence. I don't even want to imagine the judgment that would be cast down upon us. These fools, they cannot be allowed to succeed for both of our sakes. All right, from what I can recall, there are these four poles we got to shoot in the lower area of the map. We basically just got to shoot them till they raise up above ground. But first, we got to go touch the thingy in the center of the arena. Joe, just how the fuck do you remember crazy stuff like this, but you can't remember when you were vice president? Joe's mind is truly something to behold. If only that teleported us out of here. I tell you, these answers we're supposed to find here better be worth the trouble. Guys, I found one of the spinny poles. You know, she'd probably kill me if she heard me say it, but Laura used to know how to work a pole back in her prime. We actually met at a strip club. Wow. Now that is truly a love story for the ages. Real Romeo and Juliet type shit. Well, I suppose it's better than the more common redneck romance arc, which usually involves a love triangle between your sister and your cousin. But putting Georgie's love quest aside for a moment, I did find and shoot one of those doohickeys Joe mentioned. Can't believe you just disrespect Texas like that, Barry. No wonder Republicans win it every time. Well, I'm not too worried. I won both my elections without Texas just fine. I think this is the last poll, by the way. Joe, what do we need to do next? We need to all get dead wire on our guns. We'll need to chain electricity from the zombies to the poles, which are now up in the arena. Well, I'm set. I've got dead wire on my Zweihander already. Um, actually, Joe, it's called Kilowatt in Black Ops 4, not dead wire. But yeah, I got it on my Hades. Just another pointless change that BO4 made for no reason. Did nobody ever tell Jason Blundell, if it ain't broke, don't fix it? That name sounds familiar. Ah, yes. He was the guy who worked at Treyarch. I just remember he was on the naughty list in 2018, which was surprising to me because every year prior, he had been on the nice one, so he must have really done something bad. Yeah, Black Ops 4 was so bad that I can believe that, especially at launch with its blue screens and whatnot. Focus, guys. The first pole has been electrified. Just three more to go. Think I could use some of this electricity to give my phone a quick charge? Would love to take some pictures of this place while we're here. If you want to risk getting electrocuted, Donald, then be my guest. Not gonna lie, I wouldn't mind seeing what that would do to his toupee. God damn it, it is not a toupee. How many times do I have to tell everyone? All right, less bitching and more shooting. Donald, we're on the last one. All right, everyone, to the podium and grab one of the orbs. I am one of the best orb grabbers of all time, believe me, everyone says so. In fact, I do it all the time. Well, these aren't like the usual balls you grab, Donald, so be ready for anything. They must not survive! Something's changed about the air. What's going on? Shit, they're releasing a metric fuck ton of gladiators, brawlers, and tigers on us. This is madness. Madness? This is Sparta. Sorry, I've always wanted to say that. It's one of my favorite memes. I'm not surprised. In your press conferences, you always claim that you talk to dead world leaders, so it makes sense you're into dead memes, too. Jeez, maybe try focusing on the hordes of enemies in front of you, instead of talking about memes. 
I swear, if Santa didn't give you those powerful weapons, you'd be screwed right now. He was pretty goaded for that. Zeus has been appeased! All right, all that's left is to appease Odin. Hope he's not holding a grudge since we kind of defeated his eye on the Titanic. Let's hope not. I think for this next part, I got to go down below and shoot these symbols with my death of Orion at a certain angle until they start to glow. Shouldn't take me too long. All right, Joe, glad you remember that. I wonder if the ether has affected Joe's memory somehow. I suppose that's possible. I mean, there's no rational explanation for Joe's frankly clutch selective memory. I guess I'm just big brain mode sometimes. Yeah, but let's not get it twisted. You definitely have many moments of stupidity, like when you try running the country or simply walking up some stairs. A stairs schmares. I've done more running around in our adventures than Usain Bolt has his whole life. OK, I don't know about that one, Chief, but all this exercise probably has extended your lifespan by a good few years. Yeah, Joe, you're starting to get up in age with me. Well, at least as far as looks go anyways. And I'm 500 years old. You guys can make fun of me all you want, but you'll be happy to know I shot all the symbols. Now we gotta stand on a pressure plate by the shield and survive a lockdown sequence where these guys are gonna throw all manner of enemies at us. All right, let's do this. Endure! Here they come. They're sending a bunch of these 9-11 victim-looking zombies after us. Whoa, not cool, George. How could you say a thing like that? Seriously, who in their right mind jokes about a tragedy like that? You make me sick. I thought you were above such jokes, George. Yeah, that was kind of fucked up, man. What? You three literally make 9-11 jokes at my expense on a near daily basis. Don't act like you have morals all of a sudden. We haven't the slightest idea of what you're talking about, George. We'd never sink to such lows for comedic purposes. Fuck you guys, I hate you. Love you too, Georgie. I think that's the last of the zombies. Odin has been appeased. Sweet, we beat the trial. Let's head back up top to the center podium. Hey, losers, we beat your little game. Now, whoever's in charge, faces like a man. The gods have been appeased. Let us give the contenders their reward. All right, whoever's running this clown show, stop hiding and come face us. We beat your little trial. I must commend you on a splendid performance. You have made it farther than any of our previous contenders. Well, no shit. You don't know just who you're messing with. We know more than you think. Presidential Zomboys. Hold on, just how the hell do you know about us? There is no point explaining it, for soon you will be dead anyways. Prepare yourselves to face the fury of the Nine. Oh, I don't like the sounds of that. I'd get ready for a fight, gents. Holy fuck, they're sending dozens of those big guys. Don't be scared, Joe. Just keep holding that trigger finger down. Their gladiator armor is no match for our LMG bullets. Well, let's just hope we don't run out of them. Just where did they get all of these undead gladiators anyways? I'm willing to bet these are the previous contenders, the bad ones. Oh, they're bad, all right. Is this all you cultist motherfuckers got? Donald, why did you have to say that? Now they're going to come in with some even bigger bullshit, like this is some action movie. Clearly the gladiators are but a minor inconvenience for warriors of your skill. Shall we crank things up a notch? What did I say? Donald, curse you in your big mouth. Oh, shit. Zombie elephant, move out of the way. That is fucking horrifying. Oh! Fuck, that hurt. Barry, you okay? Oh, I think I'll be fine. This isn't the first time I've taken down an elephant. I beat the Republican Party every single election I ran in. Good shit, guys. Its armor has been broken. I'm sure that just pissed it off more. Even though it's a zombie, I do feel bad about having to put down Dumbo here. Elephants are such wise creatures. They say they never forget, after all. That's sad when an elephant has a better memory than the US president. But hey, it doesn't matter, because we killed it. Why is the crowd booing us? Is this not what you wanted? Are you not entertained? Fury has fallen! 
Now, behold the champion of the nine, Wrath! Wrath? Oh no, don't tell me. Another Dumbo! Just how many of these things do they have? Who knows? But keep an eye out for the riders on top. They're aiming their spears at you. Why couldn't we be fighting a zombified donkey or something? I feel like I'm betraying my party right now. Donald, if it makes you feel better, just imagine this is a personification of the GOP establishment or something. There goes its armor. It's vulnerable now. Let's give it everything we've got. Man, I feel like Teddy Roosevelt hunting some big game with this crossbow. Would love to mount this guy's head on my wall. Not that I agree with it, but I'm pretty sure my sons have actually hunted an elephant before. I guess I can tell them I've done the same now. And make that two for two, baby. We did it. All right, asshole in charge. We're tired of your games. No matter what you throw at us, we will emerge victorious. Now come face us. As you wish. So you're the chump who's been running the show, huh? And you four are the presidential zomboys I've heard so much about. I must admit, I did not expect you to survive the trial. But regretfully, your journey ends here. Hand over your sentinel artifact, and I promise to make your deaths quick. Not a chance, creep. Besides, we came here for answers, and we're not leaving without them. You seek answers, yet you do not even know the questions. What's going on here is far greater than any of you could comprehend. However, I imagine that our goals are not dissimilar from each other's. Man, why are you talking in riddles? Besides, there's no way we have anything in common with each other. That isn't true at all. Perhaps I shall dignify your deaths with a taste of the truth that you came here in search for. What's this truth you speak of? You're right, there's a lot we don't know but clearly you're familiar with us. So why not start by explaining how you know who we are? The how is quite simple, Obama. You four have met with our agents in the past and interfered with our plans. Your agents? Who the hell are you talking about? I don't recall meeting anyone who would work for a weirdo wearing a golden fetish mask. Let me jog your memory then. It all started after our leader met with a contact named Mr. Rapt. Though this was simply an alias. I believe you four know him better as the Shadow Man. Acting on the Shadow Man's good information, our leader sent his subordinate to acquire the ultimate power deep in a distant jungle in an uncharted location. Mr. Rapt, I do remember hearing that name mentioned to us a long time ago. He's talking about Mike. Mike, as in Mike Pence, the one we met at Shangri-La? I'm glad your memories haven't failed you quite yet, especially in your old age. You stopped him from securing the box of ballots we needed. And then, to make matters worse, you destroyed the moon, taking our lunar facility headed by McConnell with it. Years of work down the drain. You even destroyed the Shadow Man, a resourceful ally at times. We almost gave up after these setbacks, but our leader, with his ultimate wisdom, discovered the key to world domination. The Sentinel Artifacts. I'm lost. What is this bozo yapping on about? If everything you're saying is true, then that would mean your leader, the man behind all of this, is... Me. Wait, what? In this dimension, the one who's behind all of this is another version of me. That's just crazy, but... It makes sense with what we've been told. You finally know the truth. I'm sure it's a lot to take in, but I promise it's 100% true. With the power of a single sentinel artifact, Donald Trump was able to influence the masses, creating a movement bigger than even he envisioned in 2016. Anyone who opposes the MAGA movement is crushed out of existence. How could anyone willingly go along with such a plan? Are you sure you're not brainwashed yourself? This can't be true. I, I'm not an evil person. I'm not capable of something like that. Well, this version of you sure is different. There is no chance in hell the Donald Trump I know and love would ever be caught in the company of these two liberals and a rhino. 
Thankfully, none of them exist in our world. They were slain like all the rest. Hey, your stupid dimension is the outlier. We know for a fact in nearly every universe, the presidential zomboys exist in some capacity. Well, once this Earth is fully conquered, we will move on to the next. Making sure there are no presidential zomboys to oppose us. Using the Sentinel artifact, God Emperor Trump has already ascended to his throne. We have agents monitoring the past, present, and future to make sure his will goes unopposed. Well, I guess that explains why we're this far back in time. Trump must have used that power to make people think he was a god since the beginning of human civilization. Well, then just who the hell are you supposed to be? His biggest fan? You seem like you went along with this whole plan from the start. I suppose I can humor you with one more reveal. No way. No fucking way. This is a sick joke, right? Whoa, I did not see that coming. Surprised to see me? Dad? Don Jr., what the hell is the matter with you? I raised you better than this. You didn't raise me. My father, the real Donald Trump, taught me at a young age that power is everything. I can't believe what I'm hearing. And what about Eric, Ivanka, Baron? Have they all went along with this? Like I said, power is everything. If I'm going to be next in line to rule this world, I can't exactly be fighting my siblings for the spot on the throne. And so I did what needed to be done. But don't worry, it hurt me far more than it hurt them. That is seriously messed up. You, sir, have earned a spot on the naughty list for life. You sick son of a bitch, how could you do that to them? Baron was just a little kid, he had his whole life ahead of him. He didn't care about politics or power. What can I say, Dad? I learned from the best. Would you look at that? A text from the big man himself. Cell service is surprisingly strong in the ancient times. It's your lucky day, though. My father wants to meet you face to face. Well, tell him we're not interested. Besides, you think we're gonna let you live? You think I was talking about you? Gross. You can rot here for all I care, rhino trash. Besides, you can't hurt me if I'm not here. But we're sure as hell not letting you get away. Wait. Something's off about this guy. His speech is erratic. And look at his eyes. They're redder than Santa's outfit. This guy, he's high on something. He must have came here the same way you four did. I fucking knew Don Jr. was a cokehead. Ah, uh, don't hate. Given your complexion, I'm sure you've done more drugs than I ever could. But sadly, I'm almost sober. Good for me, though, because Donald, you're coming with me when I wake up. See you again real soon, Dad. He's... he's gone. And he said he was gonna take Donald with him. This is not good. You must sober quickly. Donald Trump Jr. is back in the cave, and he's trying to take Trump Sr. with him. How the fuck do we do that? That was some really strong DMT Joe Rogan gave me. I don't feel so good, guys. No, we're too late. He's got his hands on Trump Sr. God, no. Stop! Don't take me away from my friends. Fuck, hold on, Donald. Please, don't let me go. Donald, no! This just went to hell in a handbasket real quick. You boys need to wake up and pronto. This shit's only supposed to last like 15 minutes. This must have been laced. Donald's all alone in the real world and we're just sitting ducks. Hey, can you hear me? Hear me? Who the hell's there? Come on, Come wake, on. Up. wake up. We'll lose their trail if you keep sleeping. Someone's trying to talk to you three from the real world. Can you hear us? We're trying to wake up. Better not have died on me. Your friend still needs you, and so do I. Well, if you can hear me, I'm gonna give you something to treat your ailment. Sounds like someone's looking out for you guys. If you're going to sober up soon, then I guess this is it for old Larry. I wish I could see this through to the end, but I know you guys will save Donald. Thanks, Larry. Real or not, you were a big help today. I hope we can trust this mysterious stranger as much as we trust you, little guy. Only one way to find out. Good luck, and Godspeed, my friends. It worked. We're back in the cave. Yeah. But unfortunately, Donald really is gone. Donald. So that's his name, huh? Hey, are you the guy who woke us up from that nightmare? We have some questions for you. How do we know you're not working with that no good Donald Trump Jr.? Wait a second, this guy? Hmm? Joe, do you know this fellow? Aren't you the guy I saw on the Titanic? Hmm. Huh. 
So you do remember me. I've been keeping tabs on you guys for a while. I need your help, and it sounds like you could use mine, too. Well, sir, that is very kind of you, but, uh, we don't know anything about you. Fine. Let me start from the beginning, then. 